Beyond the Door 3, also known as a muck train. Uh, it's a 1989 hour and a half long movie. I don't even know where to begin with this. This flick was fucking all over the place. But I loved it. I'll read you the synopsis and let's see if we can jog some memories. Shy American college co-ed Beverly Putnik has been invited to go on a class trip to a remote part of Yugoslavia to witness and take part in an ancient cultural rite. But what Beverly doesn't know is that she's actually being lured to Europe in order to be made the Bride of Satan. Narrowly escaping from the clutches of a witch, Beverly and her classmates take refuge on a train. Unfortunately, black magic meets them at every turn as the train becomes possessed and begins offing them one by one. There's your synopsis. <clears throat> this flick is fucking wild. I wasn't expecting much from that movie because it's part of the October bundle from Vinegar Syndrome and not counting the Amityville set, the two other movies besides Beyond the Door fucking sucked. Unmasked 25 and... I don't even remember the other fucking movie, but it was garbage. So I was expecting this one to suck. And it didn't. So, fuck yeah. Um, the gore was wicked. It was not expected and very much welcomed. Uh, the train killing people was fucking wild. There's one part where it's cutting back and forth between two deaths at the same time, so that was wicked. One dude getting his head cut off by the train, he was running over him, and I guess the guard or whatever it's called just snaps his fucking head off while someone else is getting cooked in the coal oven. It was great. Uh, the story, it was all over the place. So, don't watch this one when you're in the mood for something to make sense. Watch this one when you just want to have some fun and turn your brain off and just sit back and enjoy the ride because that's that's what it's it that's what it is it's just a trip and i definitely recommend this one ah the other <clears throat> the other one from the bundle was berserker don't get it um i would say out of the october releases Beyond the Door 3, A Muck Train, and The Amityville Set are the best to get. <coughs> uh, yeah, Beyond the Door 3, highly recommend having that in the collection. It's... I... Yeah, I can't even fuck... What the fuck? I can't fucking explain it. It's just wild. Who the fuck's in it? So it was directed by Jeff Quitney, and it stars Mary Conert, Bo Svensson, and Victoria Zinni. Let's see if I can get it to show up. There's a little gypsy woman. There we go. I think just to give you an idea of how the effects look in the movie, they're pretty wild. Best thing about these flicks I find is since they didn't have CG, watching the ingenuity of how they pull off kills and all that other stuff. And that's why practical will always beat CG. No matter how cheesy it looks, I'll always take practical over CG. Fuck that CG blood shit. Pixels aren't scary. 
give me practical effects over CG any fucking day, no matter how cheesy it looks. And with that, I'm out. Stay fucking sleazy, folks. Buy this movie. Peace.